Craig Button of TSN published his list earlier today of the top 50 NHL-affiliated prospects, and by this he means prospects that have already been drafted, already been signed, whatever, prospects that are on NHL teams. So the top 50 prospects, and this includes basically everybody who isn't considered an NHL regular. So we got 50 prospects over here, and it's a long list, and it's an interesting one to read. I'll leave a link down in the description for sure. And at the bottom of this article, there's actually another list of the top five prospects from each NHL Canadian team. So we got the top five prospects for Calgary, Edmonton, Montreal, you get it. And these are all ranked by Button himself. And Craig Button, he's a guy who doesn't necessarily receive the highest amount of respect amongst hockey fans, in my opinion. But in my opinion, he's a very strong thinker, and he doesn't allow other influences to influence what he believes about players. And I trust him a lot because a lot of his dissections and interpretations of players are very accurate as to how things play out in the future. He was one of the guys who had Brock Besser as a top 10 talent in his draft year. And I think anybody looking at that now could say, yeah, of course he's a top 10 in this draft year. Craig Button was the guy who said that Jake Vertanen had the potential of, let's say, a second-round player. And I don't think that's wrong, looking at that today. But the point being is that Craig Button's rankings don't necessarily fall into where he thinks players will go. When he does his draft rankings, he doesn't necessarily believe, okay, this player's gonna go here, this player's gonna go here, this team, they're gonna pick this other player here because this player, A, he's not really what they want. No. Craig Button's draft rankings always project how he thinks their potentials will play out. And this is something that I respect highly, because he had Brock Besser as a top 9 talent, and he had Jake Vertanen in the second round. And these, in comparison to the other talent of their draft year, they're not that inaccurate. So, today, Craig Button on the TSN, he uploads his list of top 50 NHL-affiliated prospects, and number one on the list is none other then Vancouver Canucks, 19-year-old Swedish right-winger center, fifth overall draft pick of 2017, Elias Pettersson. Playing for the Voxtra Lakers over there in the SHL, 45 points in 35 games played. He's definitely dominating the league over there. He's having a historically good season in terms of not just SHL players, but SHL rookies. And he leads this NHL-affiliated prospects list. Number two on this list is Eli Tolvanen for Nashville. Number three is Martin Neckes for Carolina. And if you look at this list, because you really can go over this whole list, I'll leave a link in the description, there are a lot of really good players on here, but not every team has a player on this list, on this top 50 list. For example, Anaheim. Their only player on this list is Sam Steele, and he's 46th on this list. Arizona. They got a lot of good players on this list. Dylan Strom is the highest at number 12. And that in itself is piquantly weird because Dylan Strom, he was supposed to be the next big thing because, oh, McDavid was number one, Strom is number three, and he is going to be really, really good, but no, he's in the AHL right now. And he's 12th on this list. Toronto, guess how many prospects they have on this top 50 list? They got zero. Craig Button goes over the top five Toronto prospects in this list at the bottom as well, and it starts off with Timothy Lilgren, Andreas Johnson, Andrew Nielsen, it ends off with Garrick Sparks, none of these guys are on the top 50. And this top 50, which is led by Vancouver Canucks prospect Elias Pettersson, there are five Vancouver players on the top 50. We got ourselves Elias Pettersson at number one for the Vancouver Canucks. We got ourselves Oli Yolevi at number 24 for the Vancouver Canucks. We got ourselves Adam Gaudet at number 26 for the Vancouver Canucks. We got ourselves Jonathan Dahlin at number 31 for the Vancouver Canucks. And we got ourselves Thatcher Demko at number 42 for the Vancouver Canucks. All of these players have made this list of top 50 NHL-affiliated prospects. And what this means is that Vancouver... Technically, I mean, by definition, just based off of this list right here, they have the best prospect chart in the league. That, that's, that's it, yeah. Young talent, we got that. We got Bo Horvat, we got Brock Besser. But in terms of prospects, 
players who haven't played in the NHL or aren't considered NHLers just yet. We got the greatest selection. We got a good top five. It's listed down here at the bottom of the article, along with all the other Canadian teams, the top five Vancouver Canucks prospects. Hmm. And it's the same order of players. Petrushun, Yolevi, Gaudet, Dahlin, Demko. And each one of these players is on the top 50 in total. That encompasses the whole league. So, going over everything, it's awesome. Because everybody is starting to realize just how good the Vancouver Canucks prospect pool really is, and just how strongly Jim Benning is saving our team. Elias Petrushin, Jim Benning prospect. Yolevi, Jim Benning prospect. Gaudet, he is more of a Judd Brackett prospect. Dolan, he is, well, Ottawa prospect, but comes over. Jim Benning again, and Thatcher Demko, once again, Jim Benning. So, Benning and the Vancouver Canucks drafting system is really, abs it's just nailing things right now. And it shows, because out of this top 50 list, Vancouver has the most players on here. Interestingly enough, in this article, they actually talk about each one of the Vancouver prospects, because they highlight, yeah, Vancouver has the most prospects on the list this year, let's look at every single one of them. So they talk about Elias Pettersson being a quote-unquote revelation in the SHL this season. That's absolutely amazing. We got ourselves Ole Olevi, a 19-year-old defenseman, 5th overall in 2016 playing for the TPS Turku. We got Adam Gaudet, who scored 3 points yesterday in the Beanpot semifinals. He got himself 42 points in 28 games right now, and he's leading the NCAA in scoring. Jonathan Dahlin is 20, playing for the left wing of the Timra IK. He's doing really well, 37 points in 35 games, and Thatcher Demko, he's doing very, very well. His hips have allowed him to fully capitalize on what he's been given, on the skills that he has, and he's fourth in American Hockey League save percentage, and he's got 29 starts for the Comets. He's really really solid at the moment, and he's trending upwards, just like all these other prospects are, which is why they're all on this list. Of course, because this article is TSN, it's Canadian, the sports network over here in Canada, they also talk about the other Canadian prospects, and they highlight the different Canadian teams, just as they did at the bottom, because at the bottom, I already said they made a list of the top five prospects for each of the Canadian teams, but a little bit earlier in the article, they actually start talking about the Canadian team's prospects in general. So Calgary, they got themselves three players in the top 50. The Ottawa Senators, they got one player in the top 50, and that's Drake Batherson at number 29. However, the Oilers, Winnipeg Jets, Montreal Canadiens, Toronto Maple Leafs, these guys, they don't have any prospects in the top 50 prospects. And wow, wow, like, Let's take a look at the Oilers' top five prospects, led by Yamamoto. Second up is Benson. And these guys, they didn't make the top 50. Let's go over to Montreal. Who's first on Montreal? It's Ryan Poling. He didn't make the top 50. Noel Juleson didn't either. Ottawa, Drake Patherson, he made it. He's the only one there from Ottawa. Vancouver, Elias Pettersson, Yolevi, Gaudet, Dahlin, and Demko. All five of these players made it. Winnipeg, they got themselves nobody. Sam Burke is number one on Winnipeg's list. Christian Veselainen, who I feel is underrated, is number two on Winnipeg's list. However, Winnipeg, the Jets, they didn't have anybody on this top 50 list. And they also got a little bit of other notes too. Uh, Philadelphia, they have four players in the top 50. That's really good for them. Carter Hart, of course, because he's a goaltender who's absolutely blowing everything out of the water right now in the WHL. He's playing phenomenally out of his mind right now, and it's awesome. And... There are a few other interesting things that you could look at here. Cody Glass, for example, he's fourth on this list for the Golden Knights. Middlestad is fifth. Robert Thomas, who a lot of people don't seem to know a lot about from St. Louis, he's number six. Robert Thomas is a really good player. But an interesting thing that I'd like to talk about here is the fact that Cody Glass is number four. And call me bias, call me a Vancouver homer, but... If Cody Glass is number four, where's Cole Lind? Lind has more points than Glass, doesn't he? And, okay, you know what? I'm not going to get into it. I'm not going to get into it. Okay, I know, I understand that Glass plays defensively too. Cole is basically only offense. But 
in terms of the numbers, like, coal is up there, too, and, like, uh, I don't know. However, I'm not surprised to see that Colin didn't make the top five list for the Vancouver Canucks in terms of prospects, because all those guys, Demko, Dolan, Gaudet, Yolevi, and Pedersen, you could all say that they're stronger prospects than Cole Lind. And that's awesome, because Cole Lind is a good prospect, but we got five other prospects who are better than him, and that doesn't degrade Cole Lind, it just contributes to the fact that the Vancouver Canucks have such a strong prospect pool now, and it's awesome! It's so awesome. I can't wait to see a prime team of the Vancouver Canucks with these players in the lineup, plus guys like Cole Lind, Yona Gadjevic, guys who are already on the team, Bo Horvat, Brock Besser, and, uh, it makes me feel so good. It makes me feel so good. I don't care if people are saying, oh, we should have picked Kachuk instead of Yolevi. No, man, Yolevi's still going to be a good player. He's still going to be a good player. He's ranked number 24 on the top 50 list for a reason. I remember on a lot of these other lists, when they would come out before, we'd only have like one prospect on there, and that would be like Jake Furtanen. This year we have five. And it's beautiful. It's so beautiful as a Canucks fan to see this. Hope you guys enjoyed. This is Rupert Posse, Nacho Schultz, Like Boss, Stress, Gaming, and bye. <laughs>